Right here, we have the brand new Guggenbaits Slizzard. Oh my gosh. Oh my God, it's a good one. There he is. Yep, he's got it. Oh my God, that's a good one. What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. Today we're out here and today we have the brand new Guggenbaits Slizzard. We're going to be putting this thing to the test today, going out and checking it out. I've actually been really excited for this because being from the south, this is such a solid bait and I can't wait to put this thing to use and that's exactly what we're going to do today. But if you guys are new to the channel, make sure that subscribe button for me. I would really appreciate it. We're trying to hit 100,000 by the end of the year. So without you guys, it wouldn't be possible. Also, make sure to stick around towards the end of the video. I'm going to explain how you guys can win a few packs of slizzards. I'm going to be giving a few away. But let's go ahead. Let's get into the slizzard. Let's break it down a little bit before we hop on the boat and then once we do that we can rig them up go out and catch some fish on them right here we have the brand new guggenbaits slizzard these things are available on guggensquad.com if you guys actually want to pick some up you can actually use my code logan and save 10 percent on your purchase and uh you know there's lots of colors to snag we have four of them right here that we're going to be using today so let me go ahead and let me show you guys each and every color that we got in my hands right now toxic waste color we have the black and blue this is the flaming hot color this is the sunset bug starting off with the uh the toxic waste color this is actually a newer color it's one of my favorites too I'm a big green kind of guy, but I like the neon green. So that is exactly what the toxic waste is. It is like a uh, neon green with a little bit of a darker green on the front. Next, we have my all time favorite color. We have the black and blue. We got another fairly new color. This is the flaming hot color. It's super neon and orange and red and fiery looking. And uh, it kind of looks like a hot Cheeto, but it's gonna get bit. Then we have another one right here that I actually have not used. This is the Sunset Bug, which is very unique. It's kind of like a, a dark orange and a brown, maybe. I'm gonna go ahead and crack one of these open so I can kind of show you guys what we're working with today. But like I said, make sure to stick around to the end of the video because I'm gonna explain how you guys can win a few packs of these things. I got a few extras that I'm gonna be giving away to you guys. So uh, let me go ahead, let me pull one of these out and let's talk about it, if I can get it out. Jeez, man. So here is the slizzard in all of its glory. As you can tell, this thing is, uh, it's super, I don't even know the word, but it's super relaxed, let's say that. Because look at how much action you have. If you're down there shaking this thing or it's falling through the water column, it's gonna be moving, which is gonna get the bass moving towards this thing. But right there on the top, we have a, uh, a big head. People tell me I have a big head. Do we look similar? Okay, enough jokes, enough jokes. This is a, a bigger head right there, which is kind of cool. Not a lot of lizards have that. You got some ribs right here in the middle, so this thing can really slither through the water. That's how I'm gonna say it. We got some little appendages right there. Looks similar to the bandito bug, and uh, obviously you just go in there and pop them bad boys off when you're ready to use them. You can reel this thing fast or slow. It has a really unique and cool action. Plus with all those appendages, it moves a ton of water, and uh, that's gonna provide a little bit extra action. This actually looks like a lizard. It has two arms, two legs, and it's got a tail. You know, you got the tail right here, which you just kind of yank off that, pull that extra piece off, and boom. Look at that lizard tail, man. Kind of looks like the Mondo worm tail. I like lizards because you kind of get the best of every world. You got a creature bait, and you kind of got like a worm mixed in one. That's how I look at it. But uh, in the south, man, these things are killers. So we're going to go ahead. We're going to rig this bad boy up. We're going to hop onto the, uh, the boat. It's currently raining. We're going to hop on the boat, and we're going to catch some fish. So the first spot we're hitting today is a uh, bank line filled with structure. I honestly think this is going to be the best place for today just because it's so cold. But as you guys can tell, it is a, uh, it's a little murky. The water is just a tad bit murky. It had, we had a lot of rain. So uh, these darker colors are really going to come into play today, but I'm feeling confident. But we have a little bit of an overcast condition today. I think it's really going to have the fish fired up and I'm just ready to throw around the slizzard. So let's go ahead and let's start making some casts. So right here, we have our uh, flaming Hot Slizzard. That's the color we're starting off with. I feel pretty confident about it. And we're just gonna do a little bit of exploring today, trying to find some big bass to eat this thing. Let's go ahead and let's start making a few casts. I 
I think that black and blue color is probably just going to be the best. I mean, look at the water clarity. Let's see what this thing looks like in the water. Oh, this color actually looks really good. Oh my gosh. That thing is, that thing is moving. Oh, that looks really good. We're going to get demolished today. I don't know. That flaming hot color is looking pretty nice. It's looking pretty nice. Like I said, though, I'm going to be giving a few packs of the slizzards away. So you guys make sure you stick around to the end because I'm going to tell you guys how you can actually win a pack or two of the new slizzard. But uh, we got to get on some fish here. This is going to be the perfect springtime bait. When the water starts warming up, spawn season, this is the bait to throw. But yeah, the fishing's probably going to be on the slow side, but I definitely feel like this is going to draw in a few bites for sure. One thing that's cool about the slizzard too is you can get bites on these baits reeling them because they have so much action. Or you can just bounce it off the bottom, which is what we're doing today since it's so cold. But, you know, sometimes I like to just swim this thing. A little swimming lizard. We're just throwing our little lizard on a uh, 3 8 ounce Texas rig with the uh, Guggen Gold go-to rod. And if you guys want to pick up any of this stuff, it'll be linked down below in the description. You guys can actually use my code, Logan. It save 10% off your order. So save some money, especially perfect time to stock up before like the spring and the summertime when the fishing gets good and you don't have to sit here and bounce a bottom bait on the bottom for two hours to get a bite. So let's hope it doesn't come down to that. I hope that soon a fish eats this thing. If not, we're gonna have probably have to swap that black and blue color. I'm gonna make the decision to uh, put black and blue on. As much as I wanna throw the flaming Hot, as much as it looks good, I just think that that black and blue with this water clarity is just gonna be the best thing to throw because it's pretty murky. But black and blue is my favorite color, so, you know, I'm not complaining. I'm definitely gonna increase our bites though. Like I said, probably not the best time to be throwing a lizard around, but we're gonna catch fish on it, so I'm confident. But uh, springtime and summertime is probably way more ideal than uh, wintertime. But you know what? Oh, well, we're going to do it anyways. You know why? Because we're going to catch fish. All right, black and blue. Let's see what we got here. Yeah, that definitely stands out a lot better. Way more confident than that. Let's see, I know there's some structure out there. Let's see if we can't get a little bite. Oh, I just got smoked. He's got it. Yep, he's got it. Oh my God. That's a good one. That's a good one. Oh my gosh, that's a good fish. Jeez, that fish crushed it. Oh gosh. Oh gosh, it's happening. I mean, he's not like a massive fish, but that is a pretty good fish. Way bigger than I was expecting to catch today. We're boat flipping him. Yes, there we go. First fish on the slizzard. Oh, I'm glad I changed the black and blue. That was definitely the move. This fish absolutely wanted it. Look at that. There we go. Drilled him with the hook set too. Got the uh, Guggen Gold. I think this is the Kraken hook. Something like that, but that's my first time using it and it hammered that fish. Not a bad one either on the black and blue slizzard on some structure. I knew that was probably gonna be the move today. And uh, there we go. Heck yeah. Well, there we go. Not a bad fish at all. I mean, that is a, uh, that's a pretty nice one, I would say. About a pound and a half, give or take, something like that. I don't know. But uh, first fish of the day. We can uh, get the skunk out of the boat, and now we can focus on uh, targeting the same thing and catching more fish. So there we go. Not a bad first one at all. Put up a good fight. I honestly thought it was a giant, but there's a giant waiting. Oh, the water's not too cold. I mean, it's cold, but it's not like freezing. Don't splash me, thank you. Thought it was uh, honestly a little too murky and too cold out here, but uh, you know, I was just confident in the slizzard and decided to keep fishing. Yeah, we haven't been out here that long, so I mean, we're definitely gonna get a few more bites. Yeah, I think black and blue is just gonna be the move today. This water clarity is like kind of orange. It's like a weird mix. I definitely think this is just gonna stand out better. Basically what I'm doing is I'm just kind of throwing it out there and just slowly dragging it back to the boat. And uh, usually when it gets cold like this, that's usually the best way to get bites on a Texas rig. I definitely think we're gonna find a few more. It's just gonna be like a slow and finicky kind of bite. It's kind of cold out. They'll uh, they'll pick up.
Oh, I got one. There he is. Yeah, I chased it. I was swimming it. There we go. There we go. That's my favorite way to lurk the lizard. To swim that bad boy around. They go crazy for it. Oh my gosh, that's actually not a bad fish. It's a chunky little guy. Just takes a little bit to find them. Look at that. Look at these gold series hooks are sticky. Wow. Oh my gosh. I can't even get the thing out. Give me a sec. Give me a second. Oh my gosh. Do the old trick. There we go. Heck yeah. The black and blue color is just... It's juice, man. My favorite color of all time. Fish number two. Not a bad fish. He chased me. I literally was reeling in because I was about to make another cast and chased it back to the boat. That's usually what a few of these fish will do with these uh, these lizards, man. They just have so much action on this one and uh, they can't resist it. Thanks, buddy. I appreciate you. See you later. Thank you. I'm no math genius, but that makes two, which is a good sign. They like the lizard. They like it on the bottom. They like it swimming. And that's a good problem to have. So we're definitely going to be able to get on a few more, especially if it keeps going like this. We haven't even been fishing for that long. And uh, the fish are just absolutely munching this thing. All right, let's fish this uh, structure up here. Anything we can kind of get this thing moving through. So, oh my gosh, I almost fell in. Anything we can kind of get this lizard moving through. And uh, if we can get that tungsten weight smacking on some of that wood, making a little bit of noise, I definitely think we'll get a bite because I mean there's definitely fish hiding in this with it being so cold and uh, being so murky a lot of these fish kind of like to get on something so like they'll get up against structure and hunt off of that structure do I have a fish I'm on a okay I'm good but uh they'll get on that structure and hunt off of it like this one right here I know that's a fish maybe not I swore that was a bite. I thought I'd give you guys our statistics right now. We've been out here for about an hour on the water. We have two fish, so I mean, not great, not bad. I feel like it's pretty good for how cold the water is and how the fish have been acting and uh, the water clarity, which is um, neon orange. So uh, I'm feeling good. I'm also feeling, I mean, we got, we got lots of time left. Look where the sun's at. We're chilling, we're chilling. We're good. We just gotta we gotta slow it down, fish a few more piles. That seems to be what they're kind of hanging on, and uh, we'll go from there. But hopefully, as time goes on, the bite picks up. But I mean, like I said, the lizard is definitely a better spring and summertime bait. But you know me, I gotta get out here and throw it in the winter time. And we've already caught two fish. So I mean, I feel good. But you know, I'm waiting for that eight pounder just to chomp down on it, which is gonna happen very soon. So I'm going to a confident spot. I am like up here in confidence it's about to be insane this pile always has a fish on it. i mean literally always this is my confidence spot it always has a fish on it i didn't even fill a brush pile that time what am i doing oh my gosh oh my god it's a good one he's in the tree he's in the tree if that's the tree i swear i think it's a fish i think it's a tree you gotta be kidding me, man. That literally was taking the rod out of my hand. There was no way that wasn't a fish. I definitely felt like it was running. We're just gonna keep tension. I'm gonna slowly pull up on it. And if it's not a fish, I'm just gonna jump in the water. I just blew this spot out. That's, that's nice. My favorite. Okay, I'm right on top of it too. That also does not help my cause. Oh, there's the tree. Wow, oh, that's crazy. Literally caught it. Yeah, that's nice. That's so cool. I'm so I have a fish. I literally have a fish. No way. No way. I knew I had one. Get over here. Get over here. No, 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 no. I knew I had a fish. I just pulled up the whole tree with them, but I got one. No, no, stop taking off. Stop it. I've already pulled the tree up this far. You're coming up here with or without the tree. I don't even care. Oh, okay. I knew I had one. Come here. Yes, I got him. Okay, we're in a, uh... oh gosh, this is not good. Um, I have the tree and I have the fish. Okay, wait, hold on, he's knotted up. I, okay, Whew. I got him. Oh my gosh, we did it. I knew I had a fish. I knew I wasn't going crazy. Talk about a catch and a half, man. An absolute tank. And then I added about another five to 10 pounds on him whenever I hooked that tree. I'm not gonna lie, that trouble was not worth it. See ya.
Appreciate you. I would just like to say, if I didn't absolutely nail him with that hook set, he would have never been on board right now. He would have escaped. All right. Um, a lot just went down right there, but um, it adds a third fish to the board. All right, so all three of our fish have been caught on the same exact slizzard. I've uh, completely bitten the head off now, so I got the neck rigged up, and uh, it's still going strong. Honestly, for the day that it's been, like, it's been cold, the water's terrible, the conditions are pretty bad. We've had a pretty decent day, I would say. Oh, gosh, I got one on the move. Yep, there he is. On the move. What the heck? That is a weird-looking fish. Whoa, he almost just took my head off. That was like the, I don't even know if that was a bass. What was that thing? What the heck was that? It was like super skinny. I would assume it was a bass. Maybe they weren't moving. I don't know. That's weird. I'm just using the same slizzard too. I'm just kind of chopping the head off slower and slower, which honestly might be a better idea because I mean, the more finessey this thing gets, hypothetically, the more bites it gets. So the shorter it gets, we might get more bites, but they're pretty active. Oh, there's one. Got him. Oh my God. <gasps> You've got to be kidding me. That fish was taking off and he came off. Come on, man. I'm out here freezing my cheeks off and that fish is going to get off. Probably our biggest one of the day. That's ridiculous. got smoked right there he's got it again got him yes i literally went to set the hook and i was that close to missing him because i felt him come back and eat it as i set the hook hey they like it moving what the heck who would have thought it's freezing outside but yet they want to chase this thing look at this hook look at this thing oh my god this hook is legit thanks bud nothing crazy but we'll take it I got half a slizzard on there. I don't even need that much. You don't even need it. You don't even need the whole thing. That's how good it is. All right, well, right there, we just got done fishing with the uh, brand new slizzard. It's honestly been some rough conditions, pretty cold out, and uh, the fish has just been super slow. Yeah, the fish slow, and I'm not a slow fisherman. I'm very impatient, but we still caught some fish on the new slizzard. Such a good spring and summertime bait probably not ideal for the winter time but we did it anyways and we still caught fish but if you guys want to pick these up you can actually get them on guggensquad.com it'll be linked down below in the description you guys can use logan and save some money on your purchase but i am going to be giving two to three packs away to one of you guys so all you guys have to do is make sure to be subscribed to the channel and maybe comment what is your favorite color of the ones we had this one honestly is mine we didn't really get to throw it but uh definitely the next time i bring these out this is the first one i'm tossing but it was fun to get out and it's always fun to open up a new guggen bait and uh, catch some fish on it but if you guys enjoyed this video make sure to leave a like and a comment if you guys are new to the channel make sure to subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next one fishing.